Hi folks, in this short video, I am going to show you how to control your model railway from your Android device. That sounds like a good idea, son. The Samsung Galaxy Tab isn't very expensive, and you can get it in white, black or garnet red as we have in this video. What are you two doing at the top of the staircase? We are just unboxing a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. I hope you have got the money to pay off your credit card. This video is getting boring. Hurry up and cut to the trains. Well, anyway I have showed you how to go about unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. You need these two adapters to recharge the device from the mains as there is no USB charging from your computer. It is all very boring. Those YouTubers must be getting bored watching this. Okay, so here is our Android in beautiful garnet red special edition. Here we have got the Sprog connected to the layout using a Refono socket. In this way we can connect either the Sprog or any other controller. This shot shows the JMRI software up and running. On the left hand side is the slider which controls the speed of the train. You can see as I adjust the slider, the train is being controlled from the computer. Now we get our beautiful Galaxy Tab 2 Garnet Red Edition and use it to control our layout. When the throttle is moved on the Android device, the throttle also moves on the laptop, so that's how it works. As you can see, as I move my finger to and fro the train speeds up or slows down. The beauty of it is that a handheld device, being wireless, means that you can operate the layout from anywhere, without being tied down, to a wired controller. Now, being a bit of a fool, I have made the mistake of propping my beautiful Galaxy Tab 2 in garnet red against a signal box so as to get it in the shot. Here comes the train. It is all very clever, until there is some choice language in the high class establishment. It is quite easy to make it all work. Firstly, you have to go to the Play Store on your Android device and download the JMRI application which is called Engine Driver. Then connect your laptop to your DCC system, in our case of Sprog 2. After that, start JMRI on your laptop. I have put step-by-step -step instructions on the YouTube description of this video.